Aditya Shah. Currently, I'm pursuing my research-based master's in computer science at VT, and I'm in my final semester. In summer, I interned as a data scientist at Capital One, and later in fall semester, I served as a research intern at Google Brain. Uh, outside of work, I enjoy gourmet cooking and reading books on psychology and finance. Uh, well, so today I'm here to share my internship experience and address some of your questions. So let's get started. So this will depend on the position that you are you are applying. For software engineer positions, uh, I would say a good practice of lead code and competitive programming uh, is, is, is is great. And if you are looking for research positions. Uh, make sure that you have good research experience or you have published papers at good conferences because that will make you stand out from the list of the application group. So after I completed my bachelor's, uh, I served as a research fellow at IIT Indore. So I had about one year of research experience there and I published two papers during that tenure. And later uh, when I came to Virginia Tech, uh, I was doing research in machine learning and uh, I had one paper under review during that period. So I had about two to three good research papers and uh, one year of research experience at IIT Indore. And uh, during, during that time I was working on multimodal machine learning which uh, really helped me getting a project here at Google because they were looking for a candidate who had similar experience in that domain. So I speak particularly for uh, research internships. So it's very competitive to get a research role in industry, especially in machine learning, because mostly it's uh, PhD students are usually preferred for that. So in order to stand out, I would say um, try to have good research experience, uh, to cater your profile in a way that you have a story to tell. Uh, you have published papers at good conferences. That's definitely a, uh, a strong point in your application. And I would recommend to apply with a referral because if you, if, you, if you can apply with a referral from someone like a senior research analyst, then that might increase your chances of getting interview call. Because I've observed many times where you know it's very difficult to get even an interview call for this kind of research positions. So apply, use apply with a referral. Um, make sure you have relevant experience. Make sure you highlight your skills properly. If it's research, uh, make sure you have good publications. I think those are some good points to stand out. Uh, so I think it de depends from team to team. There are some teams which have openings, uh, which might have a headcount. But uh, overall, uh, I think there is a hiring freeze at Google, but keep looking out for positions. And if you can see any open positions, please yeah, feel free to apply. Yeah, so for software engineering jobs, I would say just practice lead code, um, data structures, problem solving, that's one skill they look for during the interviews. Um, when it comes to research, um, I think it's, it's good to have some research experience uh, or some prior publications. So try to reach out to professors for any potential projects where you all can collaborate. That would be a good experience to add in your resume and then you can always apply for jobs. Uh, yeah, so I had applied through a referral from senior research scientist who is working at Google Brain and I applied in early March and uh, I got an interview call about two to three weeks after I, after my application and um, I had a total of six rounds. So the initial two or three interview rounds were quite general and the interview was largely focused on open-ended questions based on my research experience and my publications and questions revolved around like current NLP trends, the current like, state-of-the-art NLP research, deep learning and some research design questions and uh, a little bit of math like optimization and statistics probability. So those were general rounds and once I cleared the, once I cleared the general interviews then they moved to team specific rounds so you have to fill a project preference questionnaire and then based on that they match you with the team. So in this round the host or the, the manager would basically share the project details and the interview questions are usually based on the project. 
and I think goal of this rounds was more more to check my familiarity with the research which is involved specifically in that project and whether that's something I'd like to work on. So I would say those those that's how the interview was structured. I was not asked any lead code questions. It was mainly research, open-ended design, and mostly focused on the uh, projects. So uh, I'm working in collaboration with DeepMind and Google Cloud Research. And in Google Cloud, they have a product called as Document AI. So what it does is uh, you upload any structured document like W2 or 1040, and it would extract all the information from the document. So our goal here was to uh, improve the underlying model performance, which does, uh, which is used in this entire pipeline. So we run a bunch of uh, experiments. It could be hyperparameter tuning, trying out different models in order to uh, improve the uh, downstream score that we get or F1 score or performance that we get while extracting the information from the document. Um, so when it comes to research internships, I think it's good to focus on a particular domain, uh, like identify a research area uh, which interests you and try to have good research experience, publish papers around that domain because I think in research you can get very niche like for example in my case uh, they wanted a candidate who had experience with specifically in natural language processing and multimodal machine learning so I had relevant experience during my internship at IIT which helped me uh, for, this, for the interviews so I would say try to identify one such area which uh, you are specifically interested in and do good research in that domain I think that, that really helps and apart from that I would say just, just uh, try to publish good quality papers. Mm, I had about like two years of research experience in machine learning and NLP and I had like two to three publications uh, in that domain. So I would say uh, there's no, there's no um, hard criteria for how much background you need as long as you have done some relevant work and have um, done some good research, I think that, that that's what uh, interviewers look for.